Hello everyone, welcome to IPM IAS Academy's daily news highlights. Today is 2nd of September 2024. So let's see what are the important news for today's discussion. And before that, if you have not yet subscribed this channel, please do subscribe the channel so that you will continue to get updates regarding civil services examination and current affairs. And there is an important announcement regarding the, the prelims come mains 2025 and 2026 course. It is already available in IPM IAS application. So please download the application so that you can register for the program. And before registering for the program, you take the scholarship test, which is actually provided in the description. So click on the link and take the scholarship test so that you will get the course at a highly affordable price. Cyclone Asna forms over Kutch, heavy rain batters Gujarat. So this particular news is actually belong to 31st of uh, August newspaper. So we are just putting it here. So Cyclone Asna, a rare August land originating storm uh, formed over Kutch and Pakistan, posing heavy rainfall in Gujarat, especially in Kutch and Saurashtra with significant flooding and evacuation. So, so based on this particular news, what you need to understand is what is this Cyclone Asna? What are the features of this? Then generally how a cyclone is actually formed. So, which is a part of the geography. So, how a cyclone is formed? What are the geographical factors which are leading to this? Those aspects you need to have an idea. And what will be the effects of this cyclone? So, how the missionary is actually countering this particular issue? All these points you need to have an idea because this is an important area coming under disaster management as well as in geography. When you are understanding the, the understanding the meaning of cyclone and what, what are its features of cyclone, you are actually understanding the uh, geography. But when you are actually coming to when a cyclone happens and what are the mitigation measures, how the evacuation is happening, how the government is managing this, then you are actually dealing with the disaster management. So this particular article is coming in page number 1, general studies one and it's a part of geography and you can also see that it's a part of general studies three that is disaster management also flood situation turns grim in telangana andhra pradesh so basically this particular article is mainly uh, dealing with the the flood in telangana so the telangana and andhra pradesh are actually facing severe floods due to heavy rain resulting in at least nine deaths khammam mahbubabad and other districts are badly affected with significant disruptions in transportation and daily life. So the, the problem is actually going worse. The flood situation is actually going worse and it is one of the disasters that is actually happening there. So a proper intervention is needed in this for evacuation purposes and for also for managing the, uh, the, the, the entire uh, administration in those regions. It's very, very important to intervene. The government should intervene. Great policy should come from the government and not only from the state government, even the central government should also assist here. So that is what is discussed in this particular article. So based on this, you need to have an idea about this uh, disaster, how flood is happening and what are, what are the reasons for this heavy rain right now in this region. So these points you need to have an idea. Then what is the government's response here? You can actually see that the Telangana Chief Minister Ravent Reddy and Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Chandrababu Naidu are overseeing rescue and relief operations. Prime Minister Modi and Union Minister Amit Shah have assured central support and NDRF and SDRF teams are deployed for assistance. So what do you mean by NDRF force? So basically disaster response force only. So what is NDRF and what is SDRF? One is actually dealing with the, the, the central disaster response force and the state disaster response force and what are their duties what are the features of these uh, response forces please do try to have an idea so this particular article is coming in page number one general studies three and it's a part of disaster management IAS officers will be ambassadors for Rajasthan Sharma so the Rajasthan chief minister uh, Bhajan Lal Sharma announced that IAS officers will serve as ambassadors maintaining ongoing communication with entrepreneurs to attract investment for the rising Rajasthan Global Investment Summit 2024. Basically, this is the role of IAS officers in actually improving the investments to that region so that the, the, the state will actually develop in the, the industrial as well as in the business field. The government will send high level delegation to visit over 25 nations focusing on sectors like renewable energy, ESDM, green hydrogen, petrochemicals, health, textiles, agri-processing and tourism. So these are the various areas in which the government is actually focusing on. So please try to have an idea about it. Okay, what is this new initiative that the, the Rajasthan government is uh, trying to do? So try to have an idea about it. So this particular article is coming in page number 3, General Studies 2 and it's a part of Indian Polity. 
ensure lgbtqia plus couples get ration cards says center so this particular article is mainly dealing with a policy that is uh, adopted by the central government for the welfare of the lgbtqia plus couples so here the union government has directed the states and union territories to ensure lgbtqia plus couples are treated as members of the same household for ration cards preventing discrimination so based on this particular article you need to understand about the more policies which are actually um, i mean framed for the welfare of the lgbtqia plus um, couples and uh, community so basically what are the welfare schemes existing right now so you need to have an idea and you should also have an idea about the lgbtqia plus um, community so it is very very important to understand that so there were many cases and there were many judgments which are actually associated with this so please try to have an idea about it so that you will get a comprehensive idea about the perspectives of the society about the perspectives of the government and what are the challenges that the community is facing all those points you will get an idea so that you can um, you can frame your own answers regarding how to um, solve certain problems how to come up with uh, uh, with solutions for many of the problems that are existing in the society especially in connection with the community okay so please try to have an idea about it and this particular article is coming in page number four general studies 2 and it's a part of indian polity and governance relations between india and pakistan unlikely to become better find survey so this particular article is mainly dealing with a survey okay survey conducted and it actually says that the the relation between india and pakistan is not likely to be uh, a friendly one in the near future so a survey by cprc water reveals that over 60 percent of the indians and half of the pakistanis believe friendly relations between the two nations are unlikely this decade so there are a lot of problems that is the reason why they are they do not believe that the relations will uh, will be smooth okay and there are in the in the global perspectives also there are differences see one uh, important area that you can see is uh, the global influence especially the indians see their country as the most influential in south asia okay we see our country as the uh, as the one of the influential country in this region but uh, on the other hand the pakistanis and bangladeshis view china as a dominant power which reflects the differing re regional perspectives and the survey also highlights growing religiosity in the south asia and concerns about the worsening status of minorities and the underprivileged across india pakistan and bangladesh so this particular article will give you a clear idea about what are the uh, the differences that are existing between uh, these countries and uh, what are the challenges that are actually existing in the in the in the, in the region right now so this is really really important to understand because it is connected with international relations and uh, our relation with the neighboring countries okay so in this context you should also have an idea about the past relationship between india and pakistan india and bangladesh and 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 the picture regarding these three countries together okay how these three countries are actually connected all these points you need to have an idea so this particular article is coming in page number six general studies two and it's a part of international relations india's neighborhood watch past and present okay so this particular article is mainly going into the details of india and its neighborhood relations okay in uh, in past successes you can see that in 2008 to 2010 india played a pivotal role in stabilizing and promoting democracy in its neighborhood especially in countries like bangladesh sri lanka maldives myanmar etc and how we actually did that we have actually done the, that through the diplomatic and financial support and the objective was fostering regional stability but in the year 2024 we can see a lot of challenges uh, which are actually connected with the democracy the current regional dynamics have drastically shifted with democracy facing setbacks in bangladesh sri lanka maldives and myanmar india's engagement and, and preparedness were often lacking leading to miss, missed opportunities in anticipating and responding to these changes because we know that there are problems going on in pakistan there are problems going on in bangladesh then uh, myanmar etc but how is our intervention there how we are able to in influence that region all all those things we need to understand more okay where are we going wrong okay all these points we need to have an idea so uh, i think if you go back and see some of the uh, the newspaper articles uh, in in the last month you can see there were many analysis uh, happened in relation with to, with this particular issue Despite some missteps, you can see that India has effectively supported Sri Lanka during its crisis and extended friendship to new governments in Maldives. 
okay that that also we need to have a clear idea and what is the future what should be our future strategy india must focus on sustained adaptable engagements with its neighbors balancing support for democratic forces and strategic interests particularly in volatile regions like myanmar and bangladesh where maintaining influence is crucial for regional stability because why we are actually maintaining influence in this region it is because we are all together we are all coming in the same region if some problem going on in a particular country that will eventually affect the other countries also so it is it is our responsibility to ensure that this region is safe secure and peaceful okay so this particular article is coming in page number 8 general studies 2 and it's a part of international relations a crisis in wana that no one talks about so what is wana here w a n a west asia north africa that is wana so there are problems going on in these regions okay lot of issues are actually going on in the region and one one such issue is the the sudan problem yesterday's news also we have seen one important news regarding the problems going on in sudan the crimes against humanity that is actually happening in sudan the conflict in sudan between the saf and rsf uh, has led to one of the world's worst humanitarian crisis with up to 150000 deaths and nearly 10 million displaced people so this is not a small number so it is actually affecting the the entire population of that region because 1 lakh 50000 people are dead and around 10 million people are displaced so this is not a simple um, thing to address so the entire world should actually address this particular issue they should intervene into that region and they should do whatever they can actually to help the people who are living in that region then the sudan civil strife stems from decades of misgovernance military coup and the ethnic conflicts with the latest crisis ignited by the rsf's rejection of a proposed military integration so this is not a thing that is uh, just happened right now this for in the history if you check you can see that it is happening for long years and basically one of the major cause of this is the the misgovernance and the military coups so misgovernance and military coups it actually talks about the instability in the region so when when a region when a nation is instable or uh, that will definitely lead to um, crisis and chaos okay that is what is happening in this region so please try to have an idea about what is happening in this region and how can the uh, the other countries especially the west western countries and other major countries in the region how can they intervene into this particular situation please try to have an idea about it this particular article is coming in page number 8 general studies 2 and it's a part of international relations japan issued a strong protest to china after a chinese naval ship entered its territorial waters and following a recent incursion by a chinese military aircraft into japanese airspace which tokyo deemed as serious violation so basically the relation between japan and china is not good it is not smooth there are lot of skirmishes in the in the relationship so at that in that context only we need to understand this okay because there is suspicion among both the countries there are problems going on in the south china sea conflicts associated with the south china sea is ongoing so when you are actually looking this problems from the perspective of all these things you can see that it is not a good relationship so the japan has actually raised their concern regarding this particular issue also so based on this you need to have an idea about the role of china in that region the how china is maintaining relationship with its neighboring countries is it good relationship or is it a strained relationship you have to have an idea okay so this particular article is coming in page number 14 general studies 2 and it's a part of international relations so these are some of the important articles uh, that you need to understand from uh, today's newspaper and please go back and read some other news are also there especially in connection with the judicial appointments there is one important news and in international relations page also you can see a lot of news which are actually continuation of the uh, the previous ones so please do read those news like the uh, the the palestine israel crisis or the russia ukraine war etc please it's an update okay so basically you know the, the 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 problem that is going on but you are just trying to update that information that is also really really important so Uh, i hope this video was helpful for you if it was helpful for you please to share it with your friends and ask them to subscribe the channel so that they will also continue to get updates regarding civil services examination and current affairs thank you so much